guys welcome back to our channel accounts guru cool learn accounting online so today we are here with a new video in which we are going to discuss about record to report posting adjusting journal entries and from adjusting journal entries that's the first accrued revenue that we are going to discuss and in our previous two videos we learn about how to uh, pass the journal entries related to the opening entries and adjustment entries and in this we are going to discuss about how we are going to pass the entry for accrued revenue that's we are going to discuss through the actual examples we are going to take the scenario of how, which type of transactions are going to be considered how we have to pass the entry for this and before going to start to know how we have to do we need to understand what is meant by accrued revenue, what is meant by unbilled revenue. And having said that, accrued revenue, it means that it's not invoicing to customer. It says that you deliver the services, but you haven't raised the invoice and you are closing the month. So you have to recognize that revenue as per the accounting standards into the books and if you ship a certain material and uh, you haven't recorded that transactions into the books, then we have to record the revenue into the, our books as a accrued revenue. So if you see the transaction related to the constructions or in a service industry, most of the areas where this accrued revenue or unbilled revenue is coming to the pictures if you are doing the if you are into the construction industry and the invoice we have to raise based on the stages of the construction so for each and every stage we have to generate the revenue for that and we have to raise the invoice for that and when we are closing the our year end or the month whatever we have done the work for that we have to book into our systems as a accrued revenue for that knowing at the end of our next month, when we are going to generate the revenue, that's we are going to raise the actual invoice for that. So before whatever is delivered, completed the work for that portion, we have to recognize the revenue into the books. And for that, the journal entry, how we want to how we have to pass the journal entry, which account is going to be debit, which account is going to be credit and how the reversal is there when we are going to do the reversal of that entry and when we have to do the reversal for that. In addition to accrued revenue, the, the another name for that is unbilled revenue. So it means that and this unbilled revenue mostly is walk into the uh, service industry where we have delivered the services, but we haven't raised the invoice for that. So for these type of transactions, we have to book and we have to record as an unbuilt revenue into the books. Coming back to the next example of accrued revenue. So we are going to discuss about the examples as well. And we are going to see as a practical how it's going to be work. And we are taking the scenario as well. And we are going to know what's the journal entry we have to plot and how it's going to be impact when we are doing the reversal of entry. How it's going to walk into the, our balance sheets, how it's going to be walk into the PL, and how the presentations you have to do. That's all we are going to discuss in this video. So, request viewers to like the video, share the video, and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to the accounting and finance. Okay, so here, uh, we have prepared the MIS and in that the one profit and loss account from that one is for the November month and one is for the December. Now and in the balance sheets as well, since we have to explain how it's going to be impacting to the balance sheets and how it's going to be changed the numbers. So that's reasons we have considered a one for November 2021 and weekly numbers for December 2021. So before going to see how it's going to be changed to the balance sheets we will see the 
practical example and how it is going to be plot the entry and when this type of transactions are there. So if you see here, that's a record to report posting adjusting journal entries. And that's the first is accrued revenue or unbuilt revenue. The nomenclature is changed for that either accrued revenue or you can say the unbuilt revenue. In addition to the what we discuss now, the examples now one more example that we are going to that we are going to consider here and that's applicable across the all where we have any investment into the bank and where we have saved any amount as an FD and if you are earning the interest on that then how the entry is going to be for that that's also we are going to discuss here so if you see the first example and this first example is related to on November 30th uh, accounts Gurukul business ships rupees 5 lakh in products to a customer. On December 1st, the business invoice invoices the customer rupees 5 lakh for these product shipped on November 30th on account extending credit with 210 net or 30 credit terms. So that's the payment terms, but related to the first example is that knowing that so most of the as of now since the gst is in place so if you are doing any dispatch then you have to be generate the actual invoice for that and the eva bill also is there but from the understanding standpoints just try to understand the logic or examples how it's going to work so we have shipped the materials as on 30th november and the amount for that is around 5 lakh and the invoice we have generated on the 1st December for that products which we shipped on 30th November on account says that it means the responsibility and ownership of goods is going to be transferred once we dispatch or uh, loaded in the lorry or truck. So the revenue is going to be eligible. In short, we are eligible to generate that revenue into the our books because the ownership is going to be with the our customers once we dispatch or it's uh, out of our factory premises. So we are eligible to book the revenue for that. Now on December 3rd, when closing the books of November, now we are closing the books for the November, the accountant accrues this earn revenue not yet billed at month end as the current asset accrued revenue on the balance sheet and credit November sales revenue on the income statement. So here, when you have to do the closing of your books for the November month, that times, you know, you have shipped the materials on 30th November and you have generated the invoice on the 1st December for that. So in the month of November, you have to accrue that earned revenue into the books for which you haven't generated the invoice and the accounting entry for that is going to be as on 30th November that's accrued revenue adjustment entry is unbilled revenue and that this unbilled revenue we have to show into our current assets and one unbilled revenue that's going to be parked into the PNL towards the revenue size. So first unbilled revenue assets account debit for the 5 lakh and the second unbilled revenue account credit that's for the five lakh and the unbilled revenue book for November 2021. Now the second and how it's going to impact into the trial balance, how it's going to be impact into the profit and loss and balance sheets. That's also we are going to see. But before going to see the result for that, we will see what is the impact and how it's giving the example of the second journal entry that's the second example is accrued revenue for interest income on investment earned in November for which cash has not yet been received from the pay from the payout pay or but is due in December. So here, if you see, that's the accrued revenue for interest. We have a fixed deposit into the bank or we have the investment into the bank and uh, uh, the terms for that, the interest is pay out when it's going to be mature that investments, when it's going to be mature that 
fixed deposit. So the entire interest we are going to be received when the fixed deposit or investment is going to be matured. But related to the every month that interest is going, interest is accruing into the bank. And from our accounting standpoint, we have to book into the systems as an accrued interest. And we have to take the accounting entry into the books. So for that, how it's going to be work? So the first, as on 30th November, accrued interest assets account debit, that's a two lakh, and accrued interest, that's our other income towards the PNL is two lakh. And the accrued interest is not yet received. So these are all the examples of the journal entries related to the unbilled revenue or unbilled or accrued interest, how we have to take into the books. And being you are going to be walking to the record to report you're walking into the R2R, it's essential for you to know how it's going to be passed the entry into the systems and how it's going to be work. Now, first we will see how it's going to be impact into the our profit and loss account. So here you have to be you have to be book that as an unbilled revenue is five lakh. So earlier, if you see the total revenue for the November was 20 lakh. And considering this unbilled revenue, the total revenue for November 2021 is 25 lakh. And coming back to the unearned revenue, that's accrued interest is 2 lakh. So the total income of 25 lakh plus other income is 2 lakh, 27 lakh. And if you see the total profit for November 2021 is 10 lakh, 24,000. So this profit is increased by 7 lakh based on the unbilled revenue or accrued revenue that's accrued but the invoice has not yet been raised so because of that this accrued interest or accrued revenue adjustment entry we have to take when we are closing the our books for the particular month or for the year end now coming back to the balance is how it's going to be work now if you see here the balance is out with that respective amount of 7 lakh because of the accrued interest. So one is going to be credit to our profit and loss account and one impact is going to be under the current assets as unbilled revenue assets for 5 lakh and the accrued interest is 2 lakh. And now if you see your balance, it is matched. That's difference is 0. So as like this, you have to pass the entries related to the adjustment entries for accrued revenue or unbilled revenue. And now we are going to see how it's going to work when we raise the actual invoice into the systems. And we know when we have to now book the accrued revenue or unbilled revenue into the books, but when we have to do the reversal of that, when the actual invoice we raise against that particular unbilled revenue in that month, we have to do the reversal of this accrued revenue adjusting journal entries. And what you are going to do for that? The one more thing. First, when you are going to raise or raise the invoice for that, you are going to do the entry. That's your AR. That's account receivable account debit to your revenue account credit. And for that, what entry you are going to pass into the systems when the actual invoice is raised, that's going to be your AR account is debit to your respective revenue account is going to be credit for that. Coming back to the when the how it's going to be reversal. So the giving example of the first journal entry, when it's going to be do the reversal, when the actual invoice we have book, then the same entry we have to do the reversal into the system that initially we have book, that's unbilled revenue assets account debit to unbilled revenue. Now we have to do the reversal of that unbilled revenue account debit, that's a five lakh to unbilled revenue assets account credit, five lakh. Unbilled revenue reverse reversal for November 2021. And similarly, for 
accrued interest account debit that's your income you are debiting and accrued interest account asset credit that's a two lakh accrued interest reverse in the month of november 2021 now how it's going to be work if you see here that's is earlier for december 2021 the total revenue is 24 lakh but we have raised the invoice against the unbilled revenue for 5 lakh so your revenue is going to be increased here at a top line that's a 29 lakh and similarly you have done the reversal of unbilled revenue that's a 5 lakh so if you see here your total revenue is going to be show as a 24 lakh which is which was the earlier revenue of 25 lakh but the top line that's a service is going to be show as a 29 lakh and the unbilled revenue that's going to be show as a negative that's 5 lakh and but the total if you see the total sales for that month is 24 lakh and the total here is going to be 49 lakh and that's your our actual revenue now if you see here by the accrual of revenue for accrued revenue we have to consider here so if you see in november 2021 we already book that unbilled revenue and we have considered that revenue in the month of november 2021 so here we are doing the reversal of that unbilled revenue and we are booking the actual revenue under the services or if it's goods and it's going to be parked under the goods and total and we are reversing the unbilled revenue of 5 lakh so net you are able to see the 24 lakh which is the actual revenue for december and the november 25 lakh is there and which was the actual revenue for the november 2021 similarly for accrued interest as well you are going to do the reversal of that and you are going to book as an interest income that's a 2 lakh similarly the um, the profit for december is going to be remain the same because we have booked the revenue in the november 2021 and we have reversed that same into the december 2021 and increase that extent towards the actual revenue so net impact is going to be nullified with that reversal transactions but from the balance sheets if you see now how it's going to be impact into the balance sheets if you see the 7 lakh is showing here the difference so the second impact of that entry is going to be to the reversal of this our 5 lakh so in in november 2021 there was a 5 lakh of unbilled revenue but we have done the reversal for that so that reasons here in the month of december the unbilled revenue is going to be zero and similarly for accrued interest also is going to be zero because the reversal entry we have passed that's the revenue it's a pnl account debit to the your balance sheets unbilled revenue credit so that's reasons here the unbilled revenue or accrued interest is going to be zero now where is going where is going to be second impact for that so in the account receivable or uh, if you have received the investment then here the investment is going to be so earlier there might be some balance here but since we are haven't considered that so the investments what we have received the interest is here that's around two lakh we received the interest and second related to that goods the our what we book the actual sale that's the impact is going towards the account receivable for five lakh now if you see your balance it is match so there is no any difference into your balance sheets and the actual entry when we have book the revenue so that time is going to be debit to your ar account debit to your actual sales or revenue account credit and related to the accrued interest that's going to be added into your investment and you're going to be credit towards your accrued interest that's that's going to be work related to the accrued revenue and uh, unbilled revenue into the books so 
thanks for watching the video till the end and the same excels we are going to upload into the descriptions and in this video i hope we are able, able to uh, clear the concept related to the accrued revenue and how it's going to be working as an unbuilt revenue we have considered the one examples and instead of uh, considering this as a business ships or materials you can consider this as a contractual uh, business and uh, we are into the constructions and we are doing the billing through the stage wise knowing that under the gst uh, we have to be raised some invoice and we have to be uh, generate the eva bill for that so considering that this is the example for that and one more related to the accrued revenue and it's a known concept or very familiar concept of every one where we have the fixed deposit into the bank how it's going to be work so this is related to the accrued revenue or unbilled revenue most of the service industries are uh, raising the invoices once they deliver the services so related to the service industry this unbilled revenue concepts or unbilled revenue transactions is going to be coming to the pictures so this is all related to the accrued revenue and unbuilt revenue. So thanks guys for watching the video till the end and uh, request viewers to like the video, share the video and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to the accounting and finance. Now having said that, this we are going to add as it is in our descriptions. So you can able to download and you are able to do or whatever you want to do the practice through with this. Excel seed. Thank you.